today let us do the affirmation on self confidence before we do the affirmation let us see what swami kriyananda ji uh, says about self confidence in his book affirmations for self healing on self confidence swami ji says self confidence as it is normally understood recalls to mind images of army generals and cowboy heroes people in short who know their blacks from their whites but life's alternatives are usually much more complex self confidence on the spiritual path is of another order altogether it means confidence in the inner self not in the ego it means living from within living by truth rather than by opinions it means living by what god wants not by what man wants does it means living by faith in the sure knowledge that although man is fallible god is infallible so your swami ji beautifully explains what self confidence means in the spiritual path in the spiritual sense and he says that it is the confidence in the in in our inner higher self the confidence in the presence of god within us that is self confidence uh, parama jogananda uh, says that god is pure consciousness it is this infinite spiritual consciousness and this same consciousness abides within the soul of every man and so in that sense every man is made in the image of god and having unlimited strength and potential and power and so in that way whatever a man wants he can really do he can really possess because he is a child of god having the same power the same potential as god himself and in that way yogananda ji says that every person is a master of his own destiny and he says the only limitation that the man has is the limitation of his thoughts if in his his mind his thoughts are limited if he feels that he is he, he can't do certain things he can't acquire or attain certain things then he can't but if he feels that he can do it he can win he can succeed he can attain whatever he wants then he can do it and yogananda ji also says that just like god is the owner of the whole universe man also just as a child of god has absolute right to possess anything that he wants it is only dependent on his mind on his thought and so this saying this proverb that as a man thinks in his heart so he is it is a completely truth it is a completely true uh proverb a true saying that whatever he can think he he is he he can achieve he can acquire he can possess and you know yogananda ji says that once we make up our mind that uh we want to succeed and if we really put in co- our concentration our effort then we can succeed in whatever we we we, we want and uh, um swami ji also had said that you know at times there were tasks when he which he had taken you know which he felt that as swami kriyananda it is not possible for him to do he has written a complete book on just a few days he has created a uh, a uh, huge uh, communities where hundreds of people are living together practically when he didn't have any money he thought of doing all those things and but he always thought that even if i can't do it the god can do everything 
and just in this knowing in this awareness having this knowing this awareness that this divine presence is flowing within us and having that confidence in that divine that this divine can do everything even if i can't do this god can do everything through me that confidence is self-confidence and that is what we say self-confidence in the spiritual sense having complete confidence having complete faith in the divine in this presence in this consciousness in this soul that is flowing through us and this change of our uh, thought our awareness is only possible by practices like meditation because when we meditate we are really connecting with this consciousness this presence of god this soul within us on a daily basis and when we connect with this consciousness on an everyday basis we start realizing this truth that we are really the child of god and just like god has the capacity to do everything we also possess the same strength and the same capacity and which is also given by god to us which is which is in us and so these practices like meditation can really change transform our thinking and when our thinking transforms when we can really realize that as a child of god as this presence uh, which is flowing inside us we can really do everything when we have the confidence coming from this presence coming from this inner self then we can really then that is self confidence and also uh, in meditation we uh, when we meditate we start uh, doing things thinking living in this world more by being guided from within more from this inner divine guidance that is guiding us from within and less and less we are influenced by the opinions of other people and so we gradually stop being pushed around by other people and we are really living from this inner guidance from this inner divine guidance and that you know gives a uh, the level of self confidence that it will give it is unshakable because when we know what is right we know from that inner knowing what we are doing and that then becomes an unshakable self confidence so now let us see uh, what affirmation swami ji has given us and then let's do the affirmation together so i will just first say the affirmation i live in the assurance of god's truth within in my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory and we when we say it let us say it with complete understanding feeling every word that we are saying repeat after me loudly first in a louder voice i live in the assurance of god's truth within I live in the assurance of God's truth within. In my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory. Now in a softer voice, I live in the assurance of God's truth within. I live in the assurance of God's truth within. In my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory. In my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory now let us affirm in a whisper deeply concentrating at the point between the eyebrows you can do it with closed eyes i live in the assurance of god's truth within i live in the assurance of god's truth within 
in my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory. In my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory. <coughs> One more time in a whisper. I live in the assurance of God's truth within. In my inner self and not in the opinions of others lies true victory. And now we will affirm only mentally. I will repeat it loudly, but you repeat only mentally, deeply concentrating at the point between the eyebrows with complete focus and also with complete understanding of every word that you say. I live in the assurance of God's truth within. I live in the assurance of God's truth within, in my inner self and not in the opinions of others, lies true victory. I live in the assurance of God's truth within, in my inner self and not in the opinions of others, lies true victory. Take a moment, keeping your eyes closed. Really absorbing every word that you have said, you have affirmed. And now repeat this prayer after me only mentally. What matter if people blame me? Of what importance is their applause? I live to please thee, Lord, confident that when thou art with me, I am protected, though it be from an enemy hold. What matter if people blame me? Of what importance is their applause? I live to please thee, Lord, confident that when thou art with me, I am protected, though it be from an enemy hold. And just stay with closed eyes. Knowing that the Divine Presence is within you. And as long as that Divine Presence is flowing through you, you have nothing to fear. And no one else's opinions matter. Only to please thee is what matters. And having that confidence coming from that Divine within. And whenever you feel ready, you can gently open your eyes. <laughs>